We're in Crawford County. The town is Bucyrus, Ohio, and we're sitting in the booth that many years ago, Al Capone actually sat in one of his speakeasies. We know that because Donna Bauer is our guest. Donna not only helps with travel and tourism here in the area, but she's kind of collected all this in her head. Donna, first of all, for a lot of us that may not have made the connection, tell us what exactly is a speakeasy? A speakeasy is a, a facility where you would go and speak very easy to enter and then if you knew the password you were allowed to enter and then when you went in you could drink all the illegal booze you wanted to and play cards and socialize with women give us a time frame what kind of uh, time frame are we looking for what era this would be the 1920s and early 30s and this was popular in the middle of the 1920s and literally when we say we're underground we're not kidding we're not kidding we're down several feet into the ground, into the tunnels that surrounded Bucyrus area downtown on both sides of the sidewalk, up and down the street. And literally some of the uh, tunnels still exist off the edge of the building and it was an underground network to well facilitate heating and some of the things that had to happen with buildings. Yes, and we still today, there's a few places where you can still get down to the tunnels and one of our businesses in downtown have taken the tunnel area and sealed it off and made it their work area for their business. Now, when we talk about this speakeasy concept, Al Capone would have been here uh, many times over several years because this was halfway between two major cities that he spent a lot of time in. Yes, New York and Chicago. And he came here by rail, had his own railroad siding, and his car would be pulled off into the siding and that way people knew that he was here that knew what that car siding was for. Uh, we had one lady come forward and her husband was his private driver while he was here. And all our statistics are from people who have come forward to the office or to the owner of this facility and told us you know, what they remember or what they were told by their parents. Yeah, in today's world, you'd write a book real quick and get it out published and go on a speaking tour. But from that time period, it was like, don't tell anybody. Yes, it was a kept secret. And even when I first moved here, I had heard a little bit about it from our neighbors, but didn't really know what was going on. And many of the children now who have gone to school here wish they had known it earlier so they could have, when they studied it in school, related more to it. Secret pass ways to get in, uh, secret pass words, and some uh, uh, exits that you probably didn't know were exits at the time either. Right, and um, a lot of people today in town are still reserved about it, but the Tourism Bureau is trying to bring people to the city of Bucyrus, and this has, we've opened this up, and this has been a great draw. We've had people from Illinois, Indiana, and Michigan, Pennsylvania, and one uh, tour group of Shriners from Dearborn, Michigan came last year, and that was their main reason for coming because she heard about the show. Now, tell us, you actually have a group of volunteers who put on a production in this area of the building then, and uh, as you go through different parts of the season, you have different times that the production's in, uh, in play. How do we find out more about all that? Contact the Bureau Office at 1-866-562-0720 or www.bucyrus.org on the internet or email is tourism at bucyrus.org and we just changed it so that's why I had to hesitate. Now when we talk about the group let's say somebody's coming into town uh, is there a standard production time period you're on or for the right size group you'll put the group together and have a production? Okay if you want to bring a group to town we have the show times are 4 30 through Monday through Friday and we do what we call the short show which is around 35 minutes long. Does it feel a little funny sitting where Al Capone's at? Yes, I do, because I haven't sat here before. Uh, the owners here of the facility, Larry Williams and Elmer Kafer, have been very, very good to the Tourism Bureau, and we really appreciate all that they've done in letting us use this facility. They do not charge us for using this facility. All we have to do is call them and tell them we have a show coming or a show scheduled and, or a tour scheduled, and their door is open for us. You actually know how thick the walls in here are for some reason. Yes. When we first came down here, there was an opening over on the uh, west wall. And there are 12 inches of concrete and uh, old brick. And, and you thought that was because you need to be bulletproof? 
I, I don't know what that was for because you can't hardly get to that wall. Now, you also help people. Uh, I know we've got a group of girls traveling today. They're going to be in the area and looking at things. So if you want to plan a trip to the area, you'll actually help coordinate not just here's a number, go contact someone. You'll actually help them facilitate, what, 38 different places or so you've yeah. got listed that people can go and things? We have 38 places to choose from, and we what we do is if you call the office, we send you a planner sheet and one of our brochures, and you check it over. It has a little synopsis of everybody and everything that you can do, and then you choose what you want, and we'll coordinate the itinerary and send it to you. It's unbelievable. Al Capone used to sit right here. My kids won't even know who Al Capone is, so I may have to get out an old movie and show them. Maybe you want to get a recap of what it was like many, many years ago. Watch an old movie and then come sit and watch the production here at the Speakeasy. You can schedule all that with Donna Bauer here at Bucyrus at the Travel and Tourism Office. Make sure you take advantage of the opportunity of many of the other things to do in the area as well. Until next time, I'm Dale Menyo, and I'll see you down the road. Down the Road is brought to you in part by Prince Agra, makers of Omnigen AF, advancing animal nutrition for healthy animals. And Woodruff Enterprise of Springfield, Ohio, 